Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the new Safe Hour. We're jumping in again, and this time we are going to do some Tainted Lost, and we're going to try and do, um, I don't know what we're going to try and do here. Um, maybe we'll try and do Beast? That's Greedier, you goddamn mong. My bad. I've already done Greedier. Um... I was playing that last time and I forgot to change it. Let's let's try and do either Dark Path or the Beast. The Beast would be a good one to get uh, to get locked away. But I do love a bit of Tainted Lost. Good bit of starting damage and all that good stuff. And potentially some starting items that really float my goat. As for the question of the day today, um Hmm. Who's someone that has a lot of influence that you think just doesn't deserve it at all? <laughs> Ooh, really good item here. Thanks for that game. Thank you muchly. Ooh, we could get a spider bite here. Spider bite would make me feel a lot more okay about the little Miss Pooter that I just received. Ooh, that makes me feel a lot less okay. I'm just gonna quickly kill myself there because my item was hot trash. And we'll try again. Dude, if that had hit me, I'd have been a bit pissed. Penny. I can't remember what this guy drops. Dude. Just end my life, please. That guy hits me all the time. His, um, his, like, spool up before he does that shot is so fast. It's okay, though. Good old Tainted lost it. You, you're gonna have some of these, uh, some of these issues from now, now and again. I did like that. That was, that was pretty satisfying, just watching those guys annihilate themselves. That's what I wanted to see, baby. And you taken out. Fire boys, I'm not particularly interested in. Ooh, luck penny though. I do like a luck penny. And I'll grab that key on the way back. We don't need it right now. Don't know if I'm going to bother with all these fires, putting them all out. Just give me an item room that really makes me sing from the from the treetops. I want something very, very good. Oh, dude, the fire. Why don't I pay attention ever? Okay. Let's 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 hold R on this. Let, let's try and get an item room that's actually worth starting a run on, because I'm I'm a little bit cheesed off so far. Okay, that's 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 more than good enough. That's more than good enough. Yeah, I gotta say the, the better items thing, it does need some tweaking. Like, I get that it's on average better items, it's not only better items, but it's like it, it does really suck when the game is like, here's your first item, and it's literal garbage. It should at least guarantee that your like first starting room is quality 2 or higher. So otherwise, it's just a lot of restarting going on. Alright, anyways. Good old plum. Not too hard, not too hard. I'm hoping for a tears up here so that my uh, I can offset the tears down that I got from this tech item. We'll see though. But, the tech is going to be good, I mean, especially if we can get even more damage on this, it's going to be really good. Lovely. And we get Latchkey, which, eh, Latchkey's fine. Right, keep him. Not a bad start, I think tech is going to be a good thing for sort of speed clearing. See, that's, this is what I'm saying. Quality 1 and 0 items maybe shouldn't just be allowed to show up at all. Because that's, that's really depressing as Tainted Lost. <laughs> really depressing. Careful of this. I mean, Sack of Pennies is going to be dropping us a good bit of money. It's not completely garbage, but obviously not really the sort of quality I was looking for. Careful the little fly. I love the fact that with tech you just push things away from you as well. It's pretty useful. And then obviously the fact that it's just built in piercing. Really, really nice. Allows us to do that and take enemies out pretty much instantly as we walk in a room. I like that a lot. This guy's gonna split into two. And there you go. Let's check our shop here for a potential holy card. Unfortunately not. We do have some good stuff in there, but unfortunately we do not have the resources required to actually purchase anything in there. We've got quite a lot of money this floor from uh, 
rune drops plus our sack, but not quite enough to make a difference. But by the end of the next floor, we'll probably have enough to start using the shop. And hopefully we'll have items of similar quality. Okay, nice and easy kill on that guy. Hope for a damage or tears up. Just a range up, but we can check out the devil deal here and get ourselves void bombs. Void bombs are, are pretty damn good, but not really what I'm looking for. But if we're going to end up doing the beast, I think void bombs could be pretty damn powerful. Um, we do get labyrinth here, which means one less shop, unfortunately. Gone, good sir. Kind of interesting that that, uh, that enemy... Ooh, very nice. That enemy actually waits to, um, to do its death effect before it lets you out of the room. One second. Sorry, I've got a really itchy nerves right now. Um, yeah, like, it actually does its death effect and then, um, and then lets you out of the room. A lot of enemies just let you out as soon as the death effect starts. And it kind of lets you cheese quite a lot of hard enemies because they have, like, a, like, especially in, like, the mines and stuff. You see me do it a bunch of times. Like, there's these enemies that do these big sprays of tears when they die. And you can just stand next to the door and leave the room. I don't know how I got hit there. That was a really, really bad hit. And we've got a goddamn crab boy here as well. We need a sack of cards. Give me, a, give me a sack of cards. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed to have lost my, uh, my cards so early. Really not what I was hoping for. Dude, don't crab me again, please. Okay, luckily that crab wasn't interested in moving. Here we go. We've got enough money for a shop item now. I'm more so hoping, obviously, we get a, a card in our shop than anything else. But we'll see. Honestly, these bubbles can mess, uh, can mess me up too, so I've got to be a bit careful about them. Luckily, with tech at the minute, we're kind of instant destroying them. One frame, one tick of damage will just destroy them straight away. We might as well try and do a bit of multitasking here. Purity. Very nice. Unfortunately, purity, we're not able to change the aura, so I was just about to say we're hoping for damage or fire it off the bat, and we did indeed get... Um, we did indeed get our damage aura here, so that's that's at least made me a little happier. Though so that's not going to do anything for us, sadly. Got to hope the shop here actually provides golden bombs. Is nice. Um, champion belt will take doubles all trinket spawns. Converts any trinkets to gold trinkets on use. Yeah. We've got a golden file now. I don't think golden file does much for us, but I'll certainly take it. Right, just do your thing, dude. Stop, stop pissing about. Right, what we got going on here? Yeah, nothing great there, sadly. Yeah, doubling our trinket spawns is pretty interesting because we could get like a wooden cross or something. Uh, it's not super, super likely, but there's a chance. I don't exactly know where I'm going right now. Was there a way out this way? No. Okay. Little bit lost. Hoping I can find my way. Little dip there, managed to escape. The money is just rolling in. Okay, it must be this way, right? No. Dude, I hate not having napping. The goddamn worst thing in the world. Just tell me where the heck I'm going. Of course a room full of red hearts isn't gonna... Isn't gonna be super great for me here. Oh, dude, this is bullshit. Just <laughs> tell me where the fuck I'm going. Ugh. Okay, this way. Right, there was a, a cash room we can get into for free there, because with our um, flat file. We'll just pop that. Devil disc. Good old devil disc. Right. Take me straight to the boss, please. Hey, here's our item room, at least. And that's pretty good stuff. I'll, I'll take that. I mean, I know, obviously, tier rate is decimated by this, but it makes our beam really strong, so tier 8 doesn't particularly matter. Oh, 
oh, I can't believe that. I saw that it was that enemy, and immediately I was like, oh, God, this is going to be bad. Okay, I'm not doing marks. That is a, a sad run to lose. Uh, Spelunker's hat It's kind of good. Let's try re-rolling it, though. Really, like, basically the same thing. Okay, I'm not going to take either of those, either. I need something damaging. I need something damaging. Come on, game. Be something that inspires hope. I don't like doing the hold R strategy. One of the most annoying things is just this, where it's like, just why isn't the item room just always at the start? Emoji glasses are a lot of fun. I'll take those. They have some unique effects as well that can be pretty powerful. Um, slightly annoying room here, but honestly, some fairly useful stuff in there. Could buy another holy card with this. Yeah, the, those little electric enemies, one of my biggest problems with them, that was a waste of a key. One of my biggest problems with them is they look very, very similar to the um, the flies where they can't take damage after a certain amount of time. Do you know, they, they have like an invincibility phase. They look very similar to those and I constantly get them confused um, and so I don't really properly prepare myself. Also, because they don't have like a, um, a marking of where their laser is going to go, it's so hard to sort of get into the right position. And not just instantly eat shit on them. But yeah, emoji glasses are one of those ones where I don't really get why they're so low quality. They can be a bit random, but you get so many different tier effects out of them that I think they're pretty damn valuable. Especially as your fire rate gets higher and higher. A pentagram off the bat is real nice. But yeah, it's a little, a little shame to see our, like, what was it, 20 damage tech laser just disappear, especially after we only just got it to be such high damage. And we had a really good trinket as well. That was just a very good run in general. But it is a it is a, a short life as Tainted Lost and you kind of have to just accept that fact. You're not always going to be able to live for a long time. Yeah. I'm not seeing where the rest of you are. You guys want to yet? Oh, dude. Rooms like this where the pop up and down guys are so annoying because they're so hard to find. Got them eventually. Item room ahoy. See that? We got a sticky tier there. I think that was just like a bugger tier. Love it. Um, we get a very good item here. Very good item indeed. It's like one of the most broken items in this mod. Especially if you get, like, double or triple shot, it becomes absolutely insane. Basically, every time we hit a tier, we're immediately able to fire another one. So, as base, it doesn't do too much. But as soon as you're hitting more than one tier at a time, it gets very nutty. <sighs> I'm really getting quite upset with my uh, inability to dodge very basic, very predictable things. Just something... Something with my mental capacity is uh, it's quite incorrect. Quite incorrect indeed. Okay. Hey, that crit was nice. Don't get hit by this guy. That'd be super tragic. Might as well grab these pennies while we're here. Have we been to the shop this far? We haven't. It's back over there. I mean, we only have one key, though, so I'm not super enthused to do that right now. We have two keys now, but backtracking all that way seems like hard work. Okay, we're not affected by creep here, so really the fly is the biggest worry. We got them with a the stanky boot. We get ourselves some more damage here. Lovely. And, um, yeah, we'll launch the daggers, why not? And let's hope we just get a holy card pretty soon here, because otherwise it's going to be a short one as well. I didn't really read up on too much of what the daggers do, but I'm just going to assume they're good. We've got the bell clapper thing as well, which is like slightly higher damage for our first few shots of the room. Okay, so it's going to bleed enemies. That's pretty nice. We're going to get these ceremonial bloods pretty often. I don't know if it's a bug with the ceremonial blood, you know. 
Because it seems to trigger on killing any bleeding enemy, and I don't know if that's actually the point. I don't know if that's how they're meant to work. I don't think it's meant to be, like, I think I think it might be some sort of bug that one specific item is supposed to make it drop from bleeding enemies, and instead it just always drops from bleeding enemies. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's how it's meant to work. But yeah, this is this is going pretty well so far, though. Why do I speak? Why do I say things with my mouth? The moment, the moment I uttered the word, I instantly died. Come on now, we can't be juicy sacking it. I want to get some completion marks as my best boy. I still want to do that thing where I just do a stream where I have to. Stream until I get every single completion mark as this guy. I think that could be quite fun. Where's our item rooms at? <laughs> Depression. How perfect. That that item always shows up with comedic timing. I swear. Like, it's, it's specifically coded to know when you're actually a bit sad. Okay, piercing is not good, apparently. I guess we're taking Celestial Berry, which is in itself pretty good. But, um... Yeah, not, not what I was hoping for there, but Celestial Berry, pretty decent. You can get some good stuff out of that. I mean, it's fire rate and damage, it's always good. The flight, obviously, completely irrelevant. Um, it exists. Dude, that guy's hefty. Okay, so yeah, Celestial Berry is one of those ones where it is good, but it's it's temperamental because obviously some rooms we're not going to be able to grab the berry. And even in fact, some rooms we're going to be at risk if we try to grab the berry. Luckily, already having flight does make it significantly easier. And if we get some speed ups, it'll become even easier again. Um, so it's not something we're going to miss often. We're going to be able to grab it most rooms. Um, but there's there's going to be times where it's positioned in somewhere that's not particularly agreeable. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it and it's going to cause me un undue harm. HP up, speed down. Okay, speed down is not something I'm particularly on board with, I'll be honest. Especially with what I was just saying about making it easier to grab the Celestial Berry. Good thing is as well, we are getting a constant permanent luck upgrade from each berry we, we grab. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Keep our distance from this guy. Really not too difficult. This is the only attack that really sort of worries me, but I don't think we're going to take damage on it, and we didn't. Toy Drum, lovely. Not quite a pentagram level of good, but pretty good. <sighs> it did it to me. Gave me the Curse of the Lost again. It's just offensive at this point. Just offensive to give me Curse of the Lost. I mean, I realise I am the Lost, but you didn't have to be so literal about it, game. There was no need to be so literal. Okay. Four fire spreads absolutely everywhere. Let's uh, pick up these guys. I'm sure do, do my boss straight away, I think. Having an extra three bombs does make the boss significantly easier as well. Yeah, this should be easy peasy. Should her. Now, that was pretty close to me getting hit there, but we managed to make it through. Okay. Good, good, good. Eye drops, lovely, extra devil deal. Bro, this is difficult. I think I'm going to take Little Fiend, because despite being quality zero, he can do some really good work on some of the larger, um, larger bosses. Okay, he's produced some creep, which I don't really mind. There you go. Look, he spawns this little fella. Smelt a random trinket onto us. A hey, plus damage. That's a great one to smelt onto us. Thank you. It's gold as well. Okay, that was incredibly lucky. We just got plus two damage from that. Yeah, we just got plus two damage from that being gold and smelting onto us. That is probably one of the luckiest random smelts I've ever had. That's really insane.
Interesting room room idea here. Okay, what are we looking at here? So many rooms to go through still. I just want my item room. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a goddamn hot dog. I don't know why it reminds me of that. But it did. Oh, for fuck sake! Get off my tits! Just leave me alone! I can't have some peace and quiet. I can't just enjoy myself. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You give me fruitcake as well? What, look at my favourite item. This is such a good run and it's now at severe risk. And I ain't, I ain't finding my shop either because it's just a... A hellscape of random rooms. I'm not I'm not spending the time. Okay, doesn't matter. I found it. <laughs> Ugh, no card here. I swear, like, the holy cards in the shop should be a little more common. And they're just never, they're never there. Right, anyways. Down we go. So this run's incredibly good right now. And we don't have a holy card. Because I lost it to some feckin' stupid stuff. The most annoying thing as well is Fruitcake, while being very good, does have the potential chance to actually hurt us. So, um, I could end up killing myself, which would be, um, quite poetic, I guess. Now my Mega Explosion. Fuck it, she's it there. Wow, good old rules card. Finding secret rooms and such with this. See what's in here. We do get an item out of this. Pretty nice. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, you cheeky fucker. Fuck that room. It was the actual thing block was hidden. I didn't... I should have known... I should have known. I should read the uh, the room names really before I do stuff like that because that was just that was just fucking cruel. Holy card, yay! I feel a little better now that uh, now that I got the holy card there. But yeah, that that item's actually pretty good, and we missed out on it because of uh, the game's trickery there. Smart. It's pretty smart. I've got to say, I, I respect the uh, the hustle. I'm liking our polished burn as well. Polished burn's pretty good. Wowee, the beam. Now this is pretty good. Start every floor, we got a golden penny. Pays for itself usually in, in, in even one floor sometimes. Two, but most of the time it's only one floor and it pays for itself. Good, good. Don't know why I used that uh, active again there. It's pretty valueless for me to do so. Good old extra bombs. Okay. A devil deal per chance. Okay, polish burn. Unfortunately, you have perished. We did get ourselves a devil deal. Um, ooh, this is tricky. I think I'm going to go for a theme because of the luck increase we just gained. I think a theme with 10 luck is pretty goddamn good. But n n normally I would have probably gone with the pinhead shots. Let's grab this. Right, uh, we got Kane's Other Eye here. Obviously not amazing, but it's fine. Um, keep it going. Yeah, grab the golden penny here. Unfortunately not a great golden penny there. We really didn't get much out of that. Dude, can you not sit directly on top of the goddamn... Uh, the goddamn... Berry. Helps no one. Yeah, this is situations where like the berry is going to be kind of hard to get. I don't want to put myself in danger by trying to grab it. Yeah, a theme's going to go kind of wild here. <laughs> That's quite satisfying, I've got to say. That is quite satisfying. Okay, 
quickly check the shop for another holy card, as always. Didn't quite get what we wanted here. We did, however, get um, a shop. I think we want to take this for holding two things. And I guess I take this. Wow, that golden penny was trash. It was literally one. <gasps> there you go. Spare holy card. Okay. Life's, life's looking good right now. Life's looking good. Land, you fuck. Beautiful stuff. Don't know what you do exactly. I always forget what those spiders do. They kind of just like walk up to you and then stand there menacingly. Right, this time don't use our active until the next floor here. This is a room I certainly don't like the look of. Okay, we're fine. Right, boss time. Got our berry. Got our slowing shots from that penny there. It's a lot of bombs. Hazard. Oh, hero font as well. Lovely. Blue cap's pretty good for tear it up. Like it. I like it. Right, don't use Q. Use space bar. I almost used Q there. Map revealed. Lovely. Honestly, with this map, I have absolutely zero idea where I'm going. It doesn't really give me anything to go off. Cool. Oh, my goodness. The chain reaction's going off right now. Okay, I'm not even going to attempt to get any of those. I don't really need them. Just scares me more than anything. Beautiful. Okay, so we did find the boss. Depths 1, so we can go straight to the boss as well here. Little bit risky to grab that there, but I took the risk and it kind of worked out. Okay, nice and easy kill there. GMO Corn could be risky. Let's take Devil Deal first, at least. Grab Horror Babylon. GMO Corn could be risky here, but I'm going to take it anyways because it is a damager. Hey, okay, I didn't get anything terrible there. We've got a few Ayua Wizards, but that was about it. Do you know what? I'm just going to. This is. this is. I'm just going to speedrun this floor. I realize I could go to a shop here. I've got money, but. I've got a holy card in the pocket already. I'm not particularly, uh, it's not necessary. Right. Hey, this, the, the rocks are unlocked, look. That's what I was trying to unlock with our last run. We finally got them unlocked. Awesome. I've still got Are You a Wizard active. I didn't think it'd be active for quite so long, but apparently. Apparently it's lasting. It's almost a very bad hit there. Can you Are You a Wizard please stop it? Because it's lasting forever. We did just get Parasite and that. Okay. That's that's very, very good. I'm liking this thing where it still spawns a shop afterwards. I'm not sure if that's like a mod or something, but I like it. Yeah, Parasite with this should be pretty insane. But dangerous. I'm up for some danger right now. I'm down to clown with danger. <coughs> Apologies, I had to cough. Now, I have forgotten that I was supposed to be doing the beast here, I'll be honest. Hmm. I think I'm going to allow myself to teleport out. Do you know what? I'm going to do something... I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. Um, I'm going to take my negative. It doesn't really matter which one of these I take. Check in here. Um, camo undies, I guess. I am going to... 
allow myself to go, is it 5.300 spawn, 5.300.1. I'm going to allow myself to um, spawn myself the full card at the cost of a holy card. I have to drop said holy card. That is my that is my penance because I'm get, basically because I'm getting an item out of it for, for for cheating. But I've cost me a holy card, and let's carry on. I think that's an even trade for rectifying a dumb mistake. Really, that was not worth it at all. Okay. Good shit. So, yeah, like I said, we might get additional holy cards down the road here, but um, that's the way I'm playing it. The Parasite and all the all the fruitcake stuff is going to take care of mushrooms pretty easily at this point. Basically, our biggest risk to us is ourselves, I think. I don't know what we're getting here, let's wait till the next floor. I apparently got hit there. I I I genuinely Okay. That saw blade just ran right through me. Anyways, we're gonna leave the episode there. I hope you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.